In a small town, there was a busy place called the Market of Dreams. It was a place where people came to buy fresh fruits, spices, and many other things. Farmers, artists, and friends all met here every day. This was where Noah and Sophie met in a very special way, and their lives changed forever. Noah was a baker. He made bread and cakes every day. He always had a big smile on his face. People loved his sweet strawberry tarts. His stall was very popular. Every morning, people came to the market to buy his delicious treats. Noah loved the market. It felt like his home. But sometimes Noah felt lonely. He wished for something more in his life. He wanted someone special to share his days with, to talk to, and to make him feel happy. He wanted a reason to smile that was more than just his baking and his customers. He dreamed of love. Sophie was a traveler. She loved taking pictures. She used her camera to take photos of beautiful things she saw. Sophie came to the town because she wanted to see the market. She heard that it was colorful and full of life. She wanted to take many pictures of the colorful stalls and the happy people. Sophie liked the market right away. She saw happy people and bright colors everywhere. She took many pictures. She loved her adventures, traveling from place to place. But deep down, she felt something was missing. She was always moving, but she felt like she had no real home. One sunny afternoon, Sophie saw Noah's stall. She could smell the fresh cinnamon and saw the bright strawberries that looked so tasty. Without even thinking, she took a picture of Noah as he worked at his stall, carefully placing the tarts on display. Noah looked up and saw her standing there with her camera. For a moment, everything seemed to stop. Sophie felt shy because she knew she had been caught taking his picture. She smiled at Noah, her cheeks turning a little pink with embarrassment. She slowly walked to his stall, her face still a little red. Sorry, I hope it's okay, she said as she showed him the picture. It was a very nice photo of Noah, with the sun shining on his face, making him look gentle and kind. Noah looked at the picture, then looked at Sophie. Something inside Noah felt different when he saw the picture and saw Sophie standing there. It's a good picture, he said softly. You made me look better than I am. Sophie laughed a little, her eyes bright. I only show what is already there, she said kindly. Sophie bought one of his strawberry tarts. She tasted it, and it was so sweet. They started to talk. They talked about the market, about their lives, and about their dreams. Noah found himself smiling more than usual. He liked talking to Sophie. It felt easy and nice. Days passed, and Sophie came back to the market often. Each time, she went to Noah's stall first. They talked more and more each day. They laughed together, and they started to feel a special connection. It was as if they had known each other for a long time. Noah felt very happy when he saw Sophie coming to his stall. His heart felt light, and he looked forward to seeing her smile. He liked seeing her with her camera, capturing moments. Sophie also enjoyed seeing Noah. She liked how kind he was and how he always made her feel welcome. It was not just about the sweet tarts anymore. It was Noah's kindness and his gentle way of talking that Sophie liked the most. He made her feel comfortable and she felt at home with him. She realized that her adventures felt more special because of Noah. One day the sun was going down, the market was becoming quiet and many stalls were closing. Noah looked at Sophie as she was about to leave. He decided to be brave and tell her how he felt. Sophie, Noah said softly, you travel a lot, I know, but I would like to show you the world from here if you stay. His voice was gentle and his eyes were hopeful. He wanted her to stay and share his life with him. Sophie looked at Noah and her heart felt so full. She had always been searching, always moving, 
But now, she felt like she had finally found what she was looking for. She nodded, her eyes shining with happy tears. I think I'd like that very much, she whispered. They sat together as the market lights came on, one by one. The lights were glowing like small stars. Noah and Sophie were quiet, but they felt complete. They knew that something special had started that day, and they wanted it to grow. The market was no longer just a place to buy and sell things. It had become a place of dreams. It was where two people found what they needed, each other. They were no longer alone, and they were ready to share their future together. The next day, Sophie returned to Noah's stall early in the morning. She helped him set up his baked goods. People saw them together and smiled, happy to see Noah and Sophie working side by side. As they worked, Noah showed Sophie how to knead the dough. He put his hands over hers, guiding her movements. They laughed as flour flew around, getting on their faces and clothes. They were a good team. Sophie took pictures of Noah's stall, the fresh bread, and the busy market. She also took pictures of the two of them together, smiling and covered in flour. They were building memories that made her heart happy. Noah made a new kind of tart that day, just for Sophie. He used her favorite fruits and gave it a special name, Sophie's Dream Tart. He smiled as she took the first bite and saw her eyes light up with joy. The market days continued, each one filled with smiles and sweet moments. Sophie and Noah became known as the happy couple of the market. People loved seeing them together. They brought warmth to the place. The market days continued, each one filled with smiles and sweet moments. Sophie and Noah became known as the happy couple of the market. People loved to see one evening after the market had closed, Noah and Sophie walked by the river near the town. The sun was setting, painting the sky in pink and orange. Sophie held Noah's hand tightly, feeling peaceful. IMG them together. They brought warmth to the place. They sat by the river, watching the water flow. Noah turned to Sophie and said, I never thought I could be this happy. Sophie looked at him, her eyes filled with love. Me too, she whispered. Noah took out a small, simple necklace from his pocket. It had a tiny heart-shaped charm. I made this for you, he said. Sophie was surprised and touched. She let him put it around her neck. The necklace shone softly in the evening light. Sophie touched it gently and smiled. It's beautiful, Noah. Thank you. She leaned in and kissed his cheek. They both felt their hearts fill with love. From that day on, Sophie wore the necklace every day. It was a reminder of the love she had found. She knew that she had finally found a home with Noah and at the market that had brought them together. Every morning they opened the stall together. Noah taught Sophie new baking skills and she taught him how to take pictures. They shared their dreams, and their laughter filled the air. People who visited the market felt the love and warmth from Noah and Sophie. They came not only for the tarts, but also to see the couple who made the market feel special. It was a place full of love and kindness. One day, Sophie decided to make a special photo album. She wanted to collect all the pictures she had taken since she met Noah. She wanted to show him how much their time together meant to her. She worked on the album secretly, taking time after the market closed. She printed pictures of the two of them, of the tarts, and of the market. Each photo had a memory, a moment of happiness. When the album was ready, Sophie gave it to Noah as a surprise. Noah opened it and looked at each picture slowly. His eyes filled with tears. He could see their love in every photo. This is the best gift I have ever received, Noah said, his voice soft. He hugged Sophie tightly. They both knew that they were making memories that would last forever. As the market continued to bring in new people, 
Noah and Sophie always welcomed them with a smile. They shared their story with those who asked, inspiring others to believe in love. Their love story became part of the market. People called it the market of dreams, not just for the goods, but for the love that grew there. Noah and Sophie were proof that dreams could come true. One evening, they decided to have a small party at the market. They invited everyone to celebrate their love and their story. The market was filled with lights, music, and laughter. They danced together under the stars, surrounded by friends and neighbors. The market was alive with joy. Noah held Sophie close, feeling like the luckiest man in the world. As the night ended, Sophie looked at Noah and whispered, I want every day to be like this with you. Noah nodded, his heart full. Me too, Sophie. Always with you. As the night ended, Sophie looked at Noah and whispered, I want every day to be like this with you. Noah nodded, his heart full. Me too, Sophie. Always with you. The market of dreams was more than just a name. It was a place where dreams came true for Noah, for Sophie, and for everyone who believed in love. It was their home, their story, and their happily ever after. Thank you for joining us on this beautiful journey with Noah and Sophie. If this story touched your heart, please give it a thumbs up. We'd love to hear your thoughts. What did you enjoy most about their story? Leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more heartwarming stories like this one. Let's keep spreading love and dreams together.